Good morning. All right. Let's do this. <clears throat> timer. We need a timer. Good morning, Vincent and Nolan. Hey, Charm Cuisines, you're new. Think about some some cute creature. Let's do some cute creature. Hey, Dennis. I'm Carl. Fantastic. Fantastic charm cuisines. Uh, well, the, the idea of this stream is um, I stream every morning for 30 minutes and then the stream ends. And as you can see, there's a timer there in the corner. Uh, I also start drawing completely without a plan. I don't know what I'm going to draw uh, as I start drawing. I haven't like pre-planned, I don't have any references, I haven't given any of it any thought. I, I like the idea of just kind of sitting down with my cup of coffee and drawing something almost like watching TV, right? You don't know what's going to come next. It's just complete um, stream from the subconscious. So that's always, I, I find it a lot of fun. Because I, as I said, I don't know what uh, what I'm gonna draw. Um, so each morning, it's uh, it's uh, it's a fun experience. Plus, I get to meet all of you, talk to you guys. Um, <laughs> Marius, yeah, some sort of uh, creature. I don't know if it's a Yoda, but uh, I was think seeing it like as a like a wood sprite, like some sort of little creature that lives in the forest. This should be I was seeing it like a happy little thing. So let's see see how that turns out. I think I'll even um, try to squash him even more. So I'll squash the body and then uh, scale back up the head a bit. Yeah, so he looks a little bit more alert. Alex Lazar, um, yeah, I think so. 
I think uh, the stream will be on tonight, uh, unless something changes. But I, I will most likely stream tonight. Uh, color some of these uh, warm ups. Um, have some wine or whatever. Hey Gak6, good morning. Yeah, it's some sort of uh, forest sprite. It's a creature living in the forest. Uh, but more of like an actual character rather than uh, just a stupid animal, you know? Um, so I'm uh, gonna try to get some fun character in here today. I started. I saw it uh, quite early. Uh, it started out as I wanted to make a like a helmet, but I've been doing so many helmets lately. I got bored of it, so I thought, you know, like no, let's do something a bit different. So, some creature, cute creature. Glans Invictus, uh, probably around uh, 8 UK time. Uh, that's GMT. Uh, so if you live somewhere where it's GMT plus something, they just add on top of 8. Um, yeah, my kids go to bed, I uh, should be sleeping by then, so you know. Give me some time to relax. I mean, that's eight tonight, not uh, today. Oh, is it? G All right. So if G London is GMT plus one, then um, anyways, it's nine o'clock in UK now. Uh, so <coughs> twelve hours or so. Who knows? It's going to be an approximation, anyways. Uh, I don't know if how well my kids will want to go to bed at bedtime so but I'll post it on Facebook and on uh, um, Twitter plus if you follow me here uh, you get a notification when I go on it I was thinking this guy having like leaves around his uh, neck. Hey, thanks, Hilary. It's time. Time is interesting. Would be cool if this guy, this creature, had like a constant bedhead. You know, like it's been sleeping, sleeping in, in the grass or whatever.
he just doesn't doesn't give a fuck. So, do you guys have any plans for the weekend? On uh, for us on Saturday, we have to go to uh, not have to. We will go to uh, great grandmother, and we were invited for dinner, I think, and uh, probably just kind of lounge around. There's the weekend. Maybe we'll probably go somewhere for brunch. There's a really cool place around here that has a super tasty brunch. Really well made. And it's always jam packed with people. Alex Lazar, that sounds fun. Plus, you all seem very, uh, <laughs> very reasonable. <laughs> I think with this concept, though, I'm I'm repainting a lot. I'm approximately halfway there. Michal, that's uh, that's a good plan. Always good to um, spend time with the lady. Keep her on your good side. I feel like listening to Bill Burr today. I think I'll go dig out some some maybe some parts of his podcast while I paint. He's a, if anyone uh, if, if you haven't heard Bill Burr, he he has some uh, really funny thoughts. He's this stand-up comedian. He's kind of not vulgar, but he's very opinionated. Uh, and there's some really funny bits that he has. It's, it's really, I, I really find his co style of comedy funny. Or, uh, or rather his thoughts are funny. Uh, for example, he does this bit about... that He says that... That of course you should never hit a woman. But saying that they never... Uh, they don't deserve it is a lie like and he does this bit about uh, like women can like slap you in the face and tear up your your clothes and everything and you're not allowed to touch them obviously you should hit women but saying that they're not like deserving of a of a good beating uh, you know because they, they can do anything because men are not allowed to hit men uh, hit women uh, you know as you, you shouldn't hit women but uh, yeah, his is really funny bit how he how he explains it like they can be all up in your face and you just you know stand there and can't do anything. It's, it's hilarious. 
of course I, I butchered it I'm no stand up comedian I, I'm not funny but he is he delivers it in a perfect kind of package sense and art yeah he's he is you know he can be quite a lot Hugo He does also this really funny bit about his dog and how he uh, um, didn't know how to take care of it and he had to take it to a trainer. The trainer like, asked him how he, how he took care of it. That's uh, funny. It's funny. He's a funny guy. But he can be a bit much, as you say. So it's... Oh, really? Hey, thanks, Morphia. Uh, thanks for coming. You seem new. Uh, I don't recognize your nickname. So, thanks for saying hi. I love that they have these little things protecting their their ear canal. They're so cute. Hugo, what are you Sluta nu. My son is tearing down the home. Let's give him some shiny eyeballs. Yeah, I do. Uh, it's on purpose so that you get a temperature shift. Um, you know, so that uh, if you would start taking it further, you all already have somewhat of a relationship between the the colors. Um, so you don't need to add that because it's super easy already to just choose the opposite. You know, like a, a complementary color. Um, also, the the, the the vibrate a little bit more interesting to get together. Um, because there's contrast by default, you know, the, it looks a little bit more interesting that way. Nu vill jag att du slutar. Ja, inte nu. Så gå lek nu och hoppa inte. Jag hoppar inte. Ja men slå eller vad du nu håller på med. Du sänder hemmet. Uh, 
definitely, Dennis. Exactly. Pikachu. <laughs> it's funny. But it definitely has that uh, creature that gets his eye poked out. Kära Hugo, varför måste jag säga en gång till? Okay. Jag bad dig snällt. Son just doesn't listen. Sorry for kind of screaming out on your, in, over the microphone, but he's just not listening. Michael, you ask away. Glance in Victor's jam, Swedish. Sweden. But I haven't lived there for uh, over 10 years. Uh, I moved away when I was like 26, 27. Since then, I haven't really set my foot back in Sweden, maybe one time. Hugo, snälla, jag vill inte att du gör så här. Ah, oh, that boy. Michael, what do you mean by starting small? Do you mean like a at the indie studio, or is that kind of what you mean by starting small? Glass uh, <laughs> Invictus. I could. Yeah. Why not? The importance of allowing yourself to fail. And um, Michal, uh, the, I wouldn't necessarily mean like smaller clients, but I think it's a good thing to start somewhere, right? Um, it's also good to, to kind of start, it depends on how you start off. Uh, maybe you need to teach yourself a lot as well about clients and so on. And uh, naturally it would be a good thing to, to um, practice how to treat clients and so on if the client is, isn't the biggest client in the industry you now you don't want to practice run uh, with a very important client so i mean in that way it would be a good thing to to um, start small you know Plus also, um, a happy customer is a returning customer. So if you kind of grow up together and this small company will always uh, come back to you if, if you've done a good job, you know? I'm thinking this guy needs whiskers. Disadvantages are low pay, obviously. Um, could get lost in ether. 
you know uh, but good thing is um, you have get something to show say I helped the did some art for these guys um, and so on you know I only see positives by just uh, starting small and a lot of bigger companies require you to have experience and uh, and usually what they mean by that is they don't have want to have time to explain stuff or, or redo work because you don't as an artist don't understand the flow of thing usually you know like how you submit art or uh, technical requirements in in something right so usually the way they want uh, experience is uh, so they can just plug and play <laughs> in that sense, you know, just connect you to the project and they don't have to worry about anything that they know you get it in that you've been around the block before. Right. Um, so I started out with small clients uh, at the beginning just to kind of get the feeling for the atmosphere and so on. I also did a lot of indie games on the side, like projects uh, with other uh, people um, over internet, and kind of trying to make games together and kind of trying to figure out what was needed to make a character and what the 3D guy wanted. And I was talking to 3D guys, and, uh, you know, stuff like that. That's, that's my point of view. So if you're new, there's uh, only good things with starting small. Well, you, you can teach each other and uh, small teams doesn't necessarily mean uh, noob teams, you know, and maybe even you don't know what, what is required. So it's better to just kind of learn together and, and you know, try your best and, and through experience. You'll, you'll just get better, more accustomed to it. And it, if you blow it for a client, it doesn't matter because it's a small scale client and they, they might see between the fingers more easily or, you know, if they say, I will never work with you again, it's, it's not too bad. You don't want like a huge studio saying, we will never work together again, um, you know. Here you go. Snella, 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 snella. Can you bara lugna ner dig nu? Gå ut i ditt rum och lek med Lego eller nåt. Jag är trött på att säga till dig om och om igen. Du håller på att vara pirat i hemmet. Shh. Gå och lek i rummet. Gå. Hugo, go to the room. Thanks, Mila. He's a fun little guy. I 
I like him too. Or her. I haven't decided what sex the, the creature has. Should give it a tail though. Before times time runs out. it time's up uh, yeah the green garment is yeah a bit color it's all good right uh, so um See you guys tonight, most likely. Whoever comes by. Uh, if not, uh, <laughs> Glass Invictus, yeah, we'll tell him that. Um, Alright. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.